This is the 8th of June, 2017. We're at Vincent Corporation in Tampa, Florida. We're about to try an unusual test. Here is a uh, pretty looking model CP4 screw press. The one we're gonna use is an older version. And because we have modified it, put a bolt right through the inlet hopper. As you can see right there. is that this bolt, which goes all the way through, here, uh, will break up sponges, big pieces that are uh, at a customer's installation. These pieces are just bouncing in the press. Uh, they're toner cartridge uh, uh, foam pads, so we may squeeze out some black ink. We'll apply air pressure with the air cylinder to push in the discharge cone, that bronze piece. And, uh, but the main thing is, well, we, can we get the sponges and to feed through uh, the press? We're optimistic. We're getting a bucket to collect ink. Okay, we're running at 60 hertz. Uh, I'll be looking from this corner towards the discharge, so there's the inlet to the screen. While they're getting on the rubber gloves, we're in the test area. We have got screw presses galore. One, two, three, four, five shredders and you look over here that's something ready to ship but there's screw presses one two three four five six seven eight nine uh, yeah we have a variety of screw presses in our pilot plant oh feed them in a, two or three at a time here's what we're going to be feeding in uh, black ink okay okay that's enough Let, let's see what if they, they go Oops, we stalled out. That action looked good at 120 hertz. We're at 90 hertz now. Um, the bar probably ought to be to the right a little bit, closer to the uh, beginning of the screen. This is the uh, 6th, 9th of June, 2017, the next day, where um, the screw is now a sterile butterfly configuration. It's a rather drastic modification. Uh, go ahead, throw in a couple more handfuls. We're running at 60 hertz. That gives us your maximum torque in case we have any problems there. You can see some action with it. Okay, hold up there, Bill. Yeah, that Brian stripper is uh, doing its thing, and this crossbar is doing some good. And we just 
get it to keep on coming like this. Now that's good if it keeps coming. Keep throwing stuff in. You're throwing quite a bit, like almost uh, half the inlet hopper. You'll see the feeds on its own accord. We're squeezing them as we cut up the um, sponge. We're getting some ink out. We'll get, I'm on the side where these resistor teeth are located. I know I get my best action in front of the resistor teeth where there's some shearing and cutting going on. And that's, uh, I'll give it a little, another uh, couple of minutes of, of running this way to make sure it doesn't plug up. Yeah, oh, we've already done all this here. all the time I think we're in good shape okay come on another uh, couple of fistfuls See me squeeze any ink out? Oh, I couldn't squeeze ink out of the, the, the regular. Oh, you couldn't get it out of the other stuff either? No. Okay, the ink doesn't come I out. I couldn't get it out of this. Okay. Yeah, I've got some video here I can click out. Yep, we've um, got everybody doing stuff here. And um, basically, uh, Thing's been running for a while. It hasn't jammed up. It's continuous. Uh, I only had to poke it one time with a stick when I really overfilled things. Higher speed seems to be working well. We haven't tripped out on overload. Um, the cone at low air pressure. Um, pretty good. Okay, we've got it bridged here. And so now we're running uh, backwards. Go ahead and hit it forward, and it's still coasting down, it's ramping up forward again, let's see if the bridge is broken. It looks like a broken bridge to me, let's see if it, if it really does clear itself out. You can program VFDs to uh, go backwards, uh, say every 20 seconds to uh, zip backwards. Uh, uh, for three revolutions of the screw and then forward again. You have to shorten the ramp down and ramp up speeds. This one's ramping down slowly and vice versa. Uh, it should go faster. We're wasting too much time ramping up and down. But, um, okay, did, yeah, I never did stick a, a poke it with a paint, paint stirrer stick, and I think this vessel will clear itself. So the uh, reversing feature would be worthwhile on the, driving the VFD. Hey, that was good, Elizabeth. It, it cleared. Let's try it again. <laughs> okay, bridge it again. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we're 
we'll, we'll keep at this, make sure that we got the right solution. We're up to 120 hertz now. We had plenty of torque left. Um, all of these Nord gearboxes we use are rated for 4,000 RPM input, which means we can take an 1,800 RPM motor and run it at 132 hertz and still have a not worry about hurting the high-speed input bearings of the gearbox. The output shaft bearings are roller bearings. starting to fill up again. Yep. So even if you leave it running empty for a while and then start going feeding it again, 